Hello Aquarius, what's up? Welcome back. Let's see what is going on for you for the month of November. All right, we've got the Queen of Cups that wanted to show itself. Uh, could be that you're in a very emotional, compassionate energy right now. <clears throat> you may be coming to the conclusion that you have a lot of feelings for someone that you didn't really realize before, right? You got the justice coming through. You got the ace of pentacles. It looks like you want to put something straight with someone. Uh, you may come or someone might be wanting to put something straight with you. But I do see some type of balance in some sort of relationship that is very close and dear to you. It's like seeing an injustice and wanting to let, set that straight, right? And <clears throat> with the ace of pentacles... You see an opportunity, you see that this person is worth to give another chance to or worth um, fighting for, right? So there is definitely, yeah, the star, look at that. This might be a purpose that you have. This feels like a you intuitively feel like this is what needs to be done. Like this is a purpose. Uh, both of you are in, an, in this dynamic for a higher purpose. So with the star, you, it really looks to me as if you want to really heal an emotional bond or someone that you had an emotional tie with. King of Wands could be a, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But you're absolutely seeing their worth. Six of Swords also really talking about wanting to move forward. It's like you want to leave the crap aside. Uh, maybe you ha you didn't have a lot of contact with this person. There may have been some type of separation or some type of distance, whether that is physically, emotionally, or just like just no contact with this individual. But now you just want to come to peace. Come back, go on peace. <laughs> I'm hearing Aaliyah. Aaliyah and DMX, come back to one piece. Exactly. And you know that it might not be that easy, but you also know that the toughest thing the hardest thing is already over like it's already past that in your heart you may have felt like in the beginning that this person could be helping you or you could be helping them there could have been like this helping dynamic like in a, in a way that is more codependent like i'm codependent on you <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> okay that's that was not on purpose but eric can you <laughs> that was a false note Okay, maybe you guys started with a false note, a false start, all right? That could be the case. But, I'm, you know, I get what the five of pentacles type of energy is like being codependent on one another. It's like going through a rough situation in your life and you know that the other person is going through a rough situation and then you, you both come together and then things go wrong, right? Because you both are not healed completely in your own way and then it's like... Tom and Jerry, right? That, that That's the type of energy that I'm getting. But now you're coming to the realization that your heart does not reach out because you need them. It's because you want them, right? Okay. Too many rights, but I'm also hearing like two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> so I don't know if, if within this relationship, both of you made a mistake, both of you made a wrong, and you both realize like, okay, this is not going to make anything right. Uh, Four of Swords is you really knowing that you're going to go through a time of healing. Maybe you're going to withdraw again from this individual, but this time I feel like you might be making it clear like, okay, I'm gonna need some time to heal. I need some time on a distance, right? Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. So I do see that you could be going a little bit back and forth in questioning if you're doing the right thing if reaching out was the best decision because it may also trigger a little bit of things from the past uh, and in this case it might it might be the right thing for you to heal properly and see what it, what still is a trigger point to you knight of wands Sagittarius energy. Oh, the Ace of Swords reversed. That's interesting. Oi, 
Four of Pentacles and Devil. There are some red flags here. <laughs> some warnings that are coming when it comes to rushed, rushed decision making. Now that could be on your end, but it could also be on someone else's end. Whomever is in that rushed energy to just like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Ah, okay. I don't know how to, I just got blocked. Sorry. <laughs> that was just like a blocked energy of mine, but this feels like an energy of let's rush in, let's rush in back into the relationship. Let's rush into living together. Let's rush into intimacy. There is some type of rush that could jeopardize in the long run. So meaning that if you are the one that in the recent, in the near future is going to have a rushed feeling and I'm, I'm getting more of a love bomb feeling like a rushed, like, okay, you're my soulmate. Let's just do it. Let's just, you know, let's have a baby. Let's do this. Let's, like there is a rushed energy that could lead to an unfinished business or it could lead to, hmm, okay. so what I get now with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Pentacles is as if one person wants to rush in, the other person is like trying to go with the flow, but they're, they're keeping some type of secret to themselves or they're not quite honest about their motives. And that could lead into codependency again. That could lead into um, feeling stuck again or getting back into a toxic relationship, right? That could be like, for example, what I'm getting here now could be that one person wants to have like a more intimate, free relationship and the other person actually has feelings, but they don't want to say it. They're like, okay, with like, let's try to be friends with benefits. And then you find yourself in a toxic relationship because you don't, you're not on the same page with what it is that you both want. That's the best way that I can describe the energy that is unfolding here. Which again comes to the realization that you or both of you need to first have a real talk about intentions truths where do you stand where do you want to go what am i to you etc etc rather than just do it and then questioning it because that is going to bring more drama so it's better to hear like okay where do we stand because the justice is like okay i don't want to hurt you i don't want to hurt me these are my feelings these are, this is what i want take it or leave it and then the Knight of Wands is like, well, whatever. So this is very important, you know, to justify yourself, to, to allow the other person to justify themselves. But you need to really also justify your needs, what you want, what you need. Because what I see is that this Aquarius actually, even though they want to make things right, they also need some time to heal and to rest. There's still a huge part of you that um, may feel lonely sometimes or may feel a lack of company as well. And that might give the other person the wrong intention. So you, someone needs to speak up about their intentions here. Yeah, Mike, oh wow. I have this at the bottom of the deck. Am I communicating my needs? Exactly. I just, just, just saw this. Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that, that what you are feeling is not true? Journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes, enough based on my desires? Am I feeling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting in and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Exactly. Your heart does not still feel safe enough to communicate your needs. I can't believe the accuracy of these cars popping up. 
move into a new direction and the coffin so something in your life is ending right now there is definitely a separation that you are probably also going through could be in another relationship uh, friendship or work whatever it is you you know that that era is going to be closed off and i feel like you're still dealing with the aftermath of that and that's why you may need to communicate all your needs. And in this case, I feel like you're still going to an ending of a situation, healing of a situation that still requires a lot of healing and me time. And at the same time, you feel some, some type of reconnection or a rebirth with someone, but you have to let them know like, hey, I just jumped out of a relationship. I'm just still needing some time to heal. Right? Like you need to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Be open with that. Expect powerful change. <clears throat> I feel like you, do, you are making the right decisions. That's what I want to say. Um, things are really taking place in your life right now that is unfolding and huge shifts are taking place for you right now. Whether that is like, like I said, ending relationships, getting into another relationship, um, rebonding a, a connection in the best way possible. But you do seem to have also like a lot of open energies for you. So I do see that you have a lot of options still coming your way and perhaps that's why you, you shouldn't take too quick action, to radical actions. Knight of Wands could still be like you wanting to take a radical action to get out of this, this space, you know, like wanting to be cared for or loved or um, wanting to talk about your, your feelings and sadness, but sometimes I can bring two people also closer, but then you're like, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Maybe you wanted someone to cry on the shoulder but then there is like a kiss and you're actually friends and you're just like whoa what the fuck just happened now you know these are like small little things that you may need to take in consideration what is going to come for you in next in um in next 30 days so yes that's what i have for your queries i'm going to dive in a little bit deeper and see what this devil with the ace of swords still wants to tell you that you are needing to be aware of and i catch you guys in the extended if not hopefully soon ciao